Wine bottle open. There's dad. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good, I'm good. How are you? I am a good. I mean, I'm 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 okay. I you know things in the world. Um, yeah, yeah. I um, I'm kind of catching up with them. I mean, I, I I have been looking at the paper, but I haven't watched any TV news at all. Are you are you going on this uh, demonstration? Well, I you know I'm going to Pride. I'm going downtown. I will see which I, if there are several demonstrations yes i mean the short answer is yes i will be demonstrating this weekend um yeah i mean it's you know obviously it's not surprising we've been waiting for this it's been coming it was leaked it was blah 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 but it's here now and it's i mean it's it's real and it's i don't know yeah i'm i i just wonder whether the impact isn't even greater because we we kind of knew we I think we knew it was coming and hoped it wouldn't and then it did and uh, right I mean it's interesting I mean the, they the right the the make it made it out like the leak was a left some I don't know some kind of leftist thing they're investigating the the you know the 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 court pages or whatever. Um, when it first happened, my first thought was, oh, well, this was leaked by the right to sort of test the waters ahead of it. And, it, you know, and it did. And they, you know, and they put up fences around the Supreme Court and they blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's they staggered it in a way. And then, of course, they released it on a Friday evening when there's no news cycle. I mean, they staggered it in a way to try and, well, the most cowardly way possible. But, right. Yeah. And they, they avoided... Uh... Well, we, we, we've perhaps yet to see the reaction, but if it had been sudden and unexpected, there might have been immediate huge I, I, demonstration. Yes. No. Uh, yes. And I, I um, yes. I, so I, yeah, I don't think, I mean, they, it was all treated, the news all treated like it was benef the leak benefited the left, but I didn't see it that way. This all felt very calculated and very, I mean, even investigating their own, you know, investigating yeah. who leaked this yeah. just felt like part of a theater to, you know, they, they uh, I don't know. Um, how are you feeling? How are you doing? Well, I'd, I'd say um, I'm beginning to, to understand what it's going to feel like when I no longer have any pain and I'm able to walk properly. So each day there is some improvement. There's a slightly less pain and my mobility is increased, but, but it's because I have had a excellent physical yeah. therapist who's come two or three times and I've done resistance therapy with her. Uh -huh. And I've done, I do three times a day. I do all my, all what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. I'm walking um, this afternoon, probably this afternoon, when it gets a bit cooler, I'll go out with Victoria and go to probably the um, drugstore on 10th Avenue because sure. that's, a, that's a kind of a less busy way. So that this will be my first walking outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. And, sure. and uh, yeah, so so uh, I mean it's going okay. The nurse came and took the took the dressing off, uh -huh. and the plan is to see the doctor, visit the doctor on Tuesday afternoon. Yep. He should take the staples out, and hopefully he'll say it's okay. 
for me then to go to East Hampton towards the end of next week. And I'll spend at least two weeks there. And and how and I I probably I mean I'll find a physical therapist out there who either I can go to or can come and visit me. Yeah, but, and I mean, but I'm not I'm not I'm not going to be driving for four to six weeks because uh, sure. Um, but I I'm you know I'm I'm I can <laughs> I can see I can see the the road ahead. Definitely. So but yeah yeah no it's it's okay. And I, 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 um, the woman, the lawyer who's been helping me through all of this Maclo business, mm -hmm. um, she, I told her I, that I was doing this, but we haven't been in touch every day. So, uh, we caught up yesterday and she said, oh, that's nothing. My mother had the right hip done when she was 88 and the left one when she was 90 and she's just fine. So I. <laughs> well, what have I got to complain about, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So no, so so it, it's all good. It's it's all right. But um, I, yes, no. And I think you know, you and I both definitely strongly believe in physical therapists. Believe in doing yeah. your exercises, moving, staying yeah. mobile as much as you can. Yeah. And, and yeah. How's yeah. your sleep been doing? You said your sleep it, was is okay. My sleep has been okay. I take one Percocet in the evening at night. Other than that, I only take Tylenol for pain. Right. And I sleep, I, I'm, I've been sleeping okay. So yeah, um, I mean, I've been going to sleep 10, waking up at six, but that's fine. I mean, that's eight hours. That's, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, good. That's okay. So um, yeah, so working a bit, uh, uh, finishing off bits and pieces for my editors in Germany and um, uh, watching uh, strange European crime dramas. <laughs> anything good, anything specific worth worth mentioning? Um, uh, th th there's a series that there's a there's a series called, which has a generic name called Those Who Kill, which actually seems to appear in different countries. Huh. Uh, um, sometimes there's a word before it, like blinded, those who kill, but those who kill is um, it, a similar kind of crime drama set up where you have, um, a uh, strong female detective, weak male detective, both with personal issues. And um, there's another one, which I've been followed, which, which is Danish called Follow the Money, which is very, very complex about, it somehow manages to get um, low end drug smuggling cost thieves involved with high finance bank manipulations screwing over the little people right uh, uh, the day the Danes seem to be pretty good at pretty good at this stuff right and, uh, and, and actually I, I don't know whether it's uh, for uh, local or domestic consumption but they're um, their casting is relatively diverse. Yeah, and, and often and often they have um, storylines that 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 deal with immigration issues or or you know that that kind of thing. Yeah, and yeah, they, yeah, yeah. No, a, which is yeah in a, in a positive way, or at yeah. least from my point of view, positive way. So, yeah. So that that's about it. I'm just just trying to get. Oh, I like your, I like your shirt. The leprechaun shirt. It is, <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm that. Right on. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. Okay. So, all right. We were talking about Ozzy Osbourne and whether it's so. You know, 
whether you know to putting him in a travel show where he may or may not know exactly what's going on if that's ages oh. <laughs> um, okay and then i just watched a cartoon where he plays the cartoon dad where in the cartoon where he's the head of the cartoon evil metal yeah. characters it, he's playing a version of himself and even in the cartoon the character doesn't know what's going on they have to keep explaining the evil plot to him so this is i mean you know obviously and this is pre-written this is i mean this is his persona this, so this is, is his shtick this, this is, is just his shtick and it is like george burns as god or whatever it's yeah like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's reaching it's reaching a point of 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 age where you meld what may or may not be actual uh abilities or disabilities that have humorous implications well i mean I, for now we'll see how much longer this kind of yeah. i mean it's yeah but what's i mean who who signed the contract for the cartoon exactly well that's the, that's the, right no because you know someone wrote this and then someone approved it and whether ozzy read the script himself or someone just said ozzy say these lines and he does you know i mean it's again it's how it's in but as far as i know ozzy doesn't have what was what's the thing that britney has a conservatorship he's a grown person who can make his own decision so he's got a pretty tough wife doesn't he i mean she's also his manager so he practically does that's what that. i mean yeah, yeah yeah so i mean i think i yeah i think i think, I think ozzy's okay he's yeah. probably saying Hey Sharon, are we making any money? That's fine. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you? So Stephen Colbert report employees were arrested at the Capitol. Yes, I, 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 I read that twice, and I couldn't quite get my head around it. So well, okay, well, of course, Fox News wants it. people to compare it com directly to January sixth, like it's exactly the same thing. Here's exactly, well, here's what's funny to me is, I mean, not to make it weird, it was seven employees, including comedian Robin Schmeigel and Triumph the Comic Dog. So technically a puppet was, I mean, they had a puppet with them when they were arrested. Okay. Um, they, what happened was they were interviewing people. They were not actually in the Capitol building. So whatever you heard, or because there's so much misinformation about this, they were right. in the building across the street. They were, they were interviewing people. They were interviewing both Republicans and Democrats all of which were in public spaces that was legal. They were filming a portion with the puppet in a space that apparently wasn't legal. They may or may not have known that, whatever. They were arrested. They were booked. They were released. That's the whole story. I mean, there's no... Yeah. So who, obviously, I mean, they, they're not stupid. The producers are not stupid. Mm -hmm. So they, they, somebody mistakenly thought that it was legal for them to be doing what they were doing where they were doing it right I in, in other words yes yes uh, unless they did it deliberately in order to be arrested but you don't think i don't case. think that and i don't hear anyone suggesting oh, that so so somebody so somebody actually went after them right that's so, the other so part. Who... somebody saw this going on right and reported them Right. That's the part I wonder too. Sure. Who, who could have been a security person? I mean, they could have been someone with perfectly job. good intention doing that. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. 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 Right. But so, but the idea the idea of arresting a puppet <laughs> being the equivalent of storming the Capitol and hanging Mike Pence and what? Nancy Pelosi and everybody else is is a it it's it's kind of a stretch isn't but here, well, okay here's the thing i mean here's the thing that i've been really thinking a lot about and especially with the trial that's going on right now um when i say january 6th i mean a very specific thing i have a very specific image in my head of people climbing you know barricades and you know knocking over you know police um so there were the people who stormed the capitol several thousand there were perhaps 20,000 more who were there in Washington that day many of whom to this day there are still people who say that was the greatest day of my life that was a great day of of joy and patriotism yes um and then the people who were back home who maybe weren't there but who love and support all those people who know them and love 
all yes. of whom have layers of, I don't know, who have to convince themselves this wasn't as bad as it wasn't what you're seeing. It wasn't what the footage they had. All of whom have layers of self delusion around what happened that day because of their connection to it. This is my. I mean, does that make sense? Does that? Yes, and yeah, I've I've also been been thinking of this that the. The, the, there are people. There, there are there are certainly people who 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 have who who see who see what happened who saw what was happening or involved in what was happening without any delusions, but they believed it was a good thing. Oh, sure. Right. You know, yes. Which is very different. From minimizing what it was, from saying it was some some tourists, you know, getting out of hand. Right, right, right. Like it is, is is to me it is irrational, right? Right. It it is not irrational for somebody who has who has bizarre or right wing political beliefs to think that that was a great day because it 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 was it was them doing what they wanted to do. And they don't believe they they don't believe it was illegal because for some reason they think the government's illegal, right? Right. No. And right. No. So, so I mean, they're yeah. not minimizing. They're not trying to to. They don't disagree with, let's say, the videos that that are being shown, right? Right. They don't. But there are people. There are obviously people who, who actually believe that. This was a false flag operation. That it was that, I, that I, nobody I, died. I, I, I don't believe. I don't believe any. Well, I no. Are there, but are there people? I don't know. Do you think there are people who believe that? I, I you know, I, I think there are people out there who believe anything. I think the people who push that narrative know exactly what they're doing, and they're pushing it to whoever's ignorant enough to believe that. But I don't think when but you, they don't believe it. Yeah, even the people who are still saying that now, I mean, as and I genuinely don't think she's a very smart person, but Marjorie Taylor Greene, when she still says things that suggest, well, I don't know if it wasn't Antifa or whatever, um, she knows what she's doing. I don't think I don't think this, these are accidental. Um, but again, no, I, but yeah. they're appealing. Oh. She's appealing to a a lunatic fringe in a yes. sense. But again, yeah. I'm yeah, I'm less concerned with that lunatic fringe because yes, they're the ones, they're absolutely the people who thought that was a great day and better luck next time. We're just, you know, it, next yeah. time it will be a success. That's what they think. But those are the fringe extremists. I'm more thinking of all the mothers and sisters and and children and whatnot uh, of not only them but of other people who are just all of whom have to who hear well and also consume Fox News and One America and all that who believe that this minimizing narrative where it's um well no i don't know i mean I, you know i in the same way that maybe i hear a minimizing narrative in my mind i mean they on fox news they go out night after night talking about how black lives matter burned down cities in america which really never happened there was a couple of nights i mean there was rioting here in seattle there was rioting in minneapolis yeah. it did happen um some of which was literally actually right-wing instigators like this is actually proven as opposed to yeah, the allegations yeah, they're yeah. always claiming um some of which was done by by leftist agitators who i have to own and claim and say okay yeah, people who i don't want to be yeah. with or associate myself with did this right. thing um but that's what a grown-up does they say you know you i don't know um you don't minimize or or yeah, I, I, it's, but no, again, when, I, yeah, when I think when I, when you or I say January 6th, we mean a very different thing than uh, in other parts of the country and other, other. It, it, I, I think one of, one of the things that I find it the, the hardest to understand is that there were members of Congress who experienced the reality of that? Oh, yes, and 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 who, at the time, expressed a degree of outrage. But who, 
within two weeks and subsequently are of a apparently of have are now a completely different point of view. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, they, yeah. they were there, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, and no, and they were they were ready to invoke the 25th amendment they were ready you know they were ready they they on yeah they they were no i mean mike pence i can't imagine january 7th january 8th january 9th as intel as he really started to understand you know there were people literally outside your door you know within minutes of you know and they had hostile intent but now he he won't even talk about it. i mean that's his cowardice is that he you know i mean he he still thinks he's going to be president, which I I mean I don't know for all he could be, but I eh. um, well I don't no I, I I don't think that that that's going to happen. But no, that, I don't that, either. There are the, uh, so many of these. Um, I mean the the fact that that a number of people rushed to get pardons, right? Oh, that, <laughs> they, yeah. they hadn't. I mean they hadn't been arrested for it. They hadn't done anything. They they hadn't done anything wrong, right? Right. I no. I mean, every so part. Well, kind of like a like a get out of jail. For, this is but like that's exactly what they asked for because they because they they were very clear. Like Mo Brooks was very clear. Like Matt Gantz was very clear. Like we need those like blanket pardons. Like don't worry about the specifics. Like any underage yeah. Florida, any of it. You know, just sort of a blanket pardon. Um, and they were very specific as to why we need pardons for everyone who voted for you. Not, I mean, who everyone in the Congress who yeah. voted against impeachment. Therefore, you all you. They were very explicit. Like, we want pardons for loyalists. Like, how can you be that? Like, how can you live with yourself and let? Well, you don't expect it to ever get leaked. But I, you know. Uh, but yeah, but it 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 is exactly what happens in. Uh, authoritarian regimes. Oh yes. Where, no, I mean, if you you're on this, if if you believe the boss, if you're on the boss's side, and 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 you hope the boss is going to stay the boss indefinitely, and you'll help him stay the boss indefinitely. Yep. You you expect him to bail you out, right, or, or to arrest your enemies, or to. You know, and 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 they and they'll shoot they'll shoot their vice presidents if they have to. Oh yeah, oh for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is no different, and that that's what I don't. I I, I yeah. it, it seems so obvious that um, the playbook is a um, totalitarian one. I mean, it's a it's a. It, well, and in some circles, they're no longer covert about that. They know what they're doing, no, no. but but they're but they're clear about why because they know better because they're because they can't let wokeness win because a democratic majority making decisions for themselves isn't acceptable to them. They, they're very clear about it right now. I mean, it's 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 pretty wild, but it's I mean, and openly. I mean, in in on websites published that you can just go to and visit and. They're, these are the platforms that they espouse, and these are foundations who have nonprofit status. And <laughs> I mean, it's it's. Well, I will say that ultimately they're absolutely right about one thing, mm -hmm. which is that they're going to be replaced. Mm -hmm. they, they oh no, I know, <laughs> no, I know. I mean, oh, no. Every single every single time I see the like the clips of the you will not replace us like the literal the the, the charlottesville marching in the street yes. shooting we will we will people will. Will. and it's, it's soon happening. and soon like by like 2030 2035 people yeah you're, out, you're not you're not going quietly but you're going right right i mean well but that i mean then that's that's the other part i mean this really is like a real that's the other part of it when 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 the left is like great replacement and it, you know it's but they it, they're really afraid and they really think you know if we can close borders if we can gerrymander elections if we can then we can actually stay you know, like you know and and well but it is it i don't know maybe i don't know enough about geopolitics or history yeah but it seems like uh King can you telling the tide to go out when the tide is oh i agree out. no i oh i agree i mean it, 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 it and it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, I mean, short of short of of uh, of of what Hitler tried to do, it's not going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, 
So anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there we are. So you you've got a you have a you have um, uh, pro-choice rallies and pride rallies together or separately? <laughs> well, okay. Here, that, well, that, that that's a good question. Um, they are separate today. Tomorrow, the specifically the Rise Up for Abortion Rights, they're the ones who do all the green. Um, right. They have a contingent in the pride parade. And first of all, I'm like, did you actually secure this, like, officially, or are you just going to sort of invade with your green? Second of all, the national organization has um, not been as inclusive. Because, I mean, really, the language is right. anyone who can get pregnant, not women, you know? I mean, because if you're going to be inclusive, anyone who can get pregnant, which includes non-binary folks, which includes trans males who can still get pregnant if they still yeah. have a uterus, et cetera, et cetera. Anyone who can get pregnant. Um, they're not it, they're not as inclusive and when they were called out on it they got the weird defensive don't get bogged down in language and it's like well if you want allies if you want to be the organization that represents everyone you need to be the organization that represents everyone so so that we can be here for you so i'm still torn about how i feel about that specific organization i'm yeah. also looking into other like i said there are several rallies today so i'm going to go check out a couple and see in any event, I have like dozens of green bandanas and stickers. And now I'm like, if I'm done with this organization, I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. Um, but this is, I mean, it's, this is how these fights go. I mean, this is how, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, again, but this is also why the right marches lockstep for 50 years, single issue, and gets what they want. And the left quibbles over, yeah, yeah. I get it. And, and I get the people who are telling, I wasn't even the one speaking up, but other people who are like, Please say they, them. Please don't say women. And some of the people are telling like little, shut up and grow up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like you are, like you can't. But they're also right that it's not about that right now because literally Roe is being overturned as we speak. So it's, I mean, I get the tension on, uh, I mean, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, well. But I'm only going to keep fighting this fight with people who, so no, no, okay, I'm sorry. This is, this is, okay. Fight, who are fighting all the fights. Because I don't, for instance, I, I can't stand, um, I can't stand any jokes about Trump's age, appearance, weight, etc. cetera. Like, I don't, like, if you are on the right side, then you're not making fun of people for the wrong things. He has enough policies that you can make fun, that you can talk about, you know what I mean? Like, I, like, I... <sighs> In other words, no cheap shots. Well, yeah, I mean, not not never, but I, I mean, you know, and you can have a cheap shot on Saturday Night Live. You can. Have, it's not that I don't understand comedy, and that's a whole separate topic. But yeah, I guess this whole well, if they do it, then we need to do it too. And this, I mean, and then it's just a race to the bottom. I mean, it's you know, no, how, you can't have that. You, I mean, you have to. You still have. You have to be the people of integrity, and that has to mean something. And that means having those difficult discussions even if they take longer rather than saying well, they will not take right now if if the if the if the, the the validity of the left fractured as it might be has to do with the fact that it, it is based on intellectual discussion and different points of view right yeah. and 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 that's why you have stops and starts and disagreements and factions um and and you you do not have a lockstep one issue uh um voting block but right. but hopefully hopefully when people when when people go to the polls mm -hmm. Whoever they are and wherever they are, they will. There will be an issue: pro-choice, guns, um, gender equality, whatever it is, that will drive them not to vote for a Republican. I mean, as right. simple as that, right? And and and. And some may have, may, may have a lot of issues, and some may only have one. Right? You could have somebody who is a who is who is a who is conservative in every respect, but who lost a child in a, in a school shooting, and right. they just right. they just they they have 
they, in a, in a sense, they're, they're likely to vote against their former party, right? I mean, I here's know. the other thing, though. I, I mean, again, it, and it, it, to me, because that, I mean, that party is bleeding. I mean, a lot, okay. So, I, all right, I stand corrected. Eric Adams is actually currently a registered Democrat. I've been calling him a Republican, which he once was, but he has apparently ran as the current mayor. He is a Democrat. Okay. However, I mean, and again, our mayor is also a Democrat, but I'm like, that's mean. I don't know. I, I think it's like, okay, I, I think we're at a point where everyone calls themselves a moderate now, where everyone, no one really wants to call themselves a conservative. Literally, Richard Spencer, who is, he's the guy who termed the phrase alt-right. He is, he was the organizer of the 2017 Charlottesville, we will not replace you. Um, he now lists himself as a moderate on Bumble, um, the, the dating app website, because everyone thinks they're a moderate. Every, no one will call themselves a conservative. Um, so no that, one wants to be an extremist, right? Well, no one wants to be associated with the extremist, but no one, a lot of them know that even the center of their party is, has been pulled so far, they won't, but they, they, I mean, they believe, here's the thing, and a lot, okay, here's the other thing, and again, this goes back to people on both sides, okay, Republicans actively saying, I'm going to stay true to the party, but I'm going to, this is like the opposite of rhinos, but I'm going to register as an independent or as a Democrat because I can win as that. Um, and now Democrats are saying the same thing. Oh, if I'm in rural Washington, maybe I should run as a Republican. And I'm like, no, again, don't muddy those waters. But uh, either way, I think it's going to be very, very important in the next few election cycles to really pay attention to people's policies and words, not their, not their, platform or their party right. because i we have a city attorney right now and technically the city attorney is a nonpartisan position she claims to be a democrat she her voting record indicates she has voted republican in the past she ran on homeless sweeps and then immediately like you know they started sweeping all the i mean in my mind she's a republican in my mind the way she operates the way she does business regardless of what she thinks she may think of herself as a democrat but her policies to me are very right wing but I think people have to be real. You just have to pay attention for yourself to what people's words and actions are, not just expect a little symbol to. I mean, this is like where the Dixiecrats and the, you know, the. I mean, I, I don't know. I think it's all gonna get with misinformation and with bots and with with cyber. I, I parties will become less meaningful at then really what people's words and actions. But then they they even deny they said them. Uh, oh. when they're on record, <laughs> no, I mean, they they and 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 I mean, I thought it was interesting that was it Susan Collins who actually came out and said she she felt that she had been misled by Brett Kavanaugh, uh, because uh, because in private meetings when he was being considered for the Supreme Court, in private meetings, he he had. He he had he had indicated uh, unwavering support for Roe versus Wade, and 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 contrasting what those three recent Republican uh, uh, they all did they all when they were confirmed they all said some words they were all asked yes in public, but they lied record, but that's a lie settled Isn't law settled lying? law settled law settled law they said it over and over and over with their fingers crossed and and we knew it at the time but I mean. It's, they're, they are the highest, that's the highest position in the country from a point of view of justice, which I would think would have to do with not telling lies. I, 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 well, but there's, well, you would think that there would be some censure or penalty for that, but that's, I mean, this is, we are a nation of laws. The Supreme Court is governed by laws just as they regulate them those laws that govern them can be changed and need to be, obviously. So we'll have to save it for next time because we are running out of time. But a topic that we start, talked about on season two, like well over a year ago, um, expanding the Supreme Court. Um, I, I think I, I was very skeptical the last time. I'd have to look back at our, uh, maybe I'll, I'll, look, I'll watch that episode again and see what we had to say. But I was skeptical that now I'm like, no, let's expand it. 16, 24, let's do it. Um, 
and let's put some partisan, yeah, I mean, I, here's the thing, people are like, well, then maybe there should be some partisan, like, there have to be a, X number and X number, but then that's going to keep it in a binary system forever. We don't want just Republicans, and what if a uh, Bernie Sanders, what if an independent should end up on the, you know, I, I mean, I don't think it should be, but there should be some way to make sure that it doesn't become this lopsided again. Well, you don't, first of all, you, 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 you can, you, you can make them retire at a certain age and you can give each president only a certain number of shots. In sure. other words, each, yes. they, her presidency, there can be a certain number of appointments perhaps, and, and they have to get off and then they, and they have to retire at 70 well, or whatever. I mean, federal judges have retirement limits. I'm not, I, you know, I don't necessarily believe in term limits or, I, well, I, it depends. I mean, people talk about Dianne Feinstein, people, I, I think, I think people, I, you know, well, to me, I get, that is ageist. I think, I, I, just because someone's been doing something a long time, that, that could be an indication that they excel at what they do, that they are at the top yeah. of their field and they deserve to keep doing it. But I think that there should be some markers in place just as, I, I don't know. I, yeah. Um, I think this is a good, this is a good topic. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it in terms of, I've been on the board of NYFA for 10 years. You know, everybody thinks I should stay on the board. The board has changed. It's not changed for the worst. It seems to change for the better. I don't think that, I, I think that it needs to be not necessarily younger board. I think it needs, sure. I, think the, the, I think the board should be new and fresh and, and, and have all people who've been there a while and, and new people. But I also think there should be term limits anyway. So. Well, no, I just, I just left a team that I basically started and built at my agency, the racial equity team after five years. The yeah. terms are supposed to be two or three years. I yeah. somehow got grandfathered in yeah, and they even offered me an extra year just because they were like, oh, so many people are leaving. Maybe you should stay. And um, I loved it, but I politely declined for all the reasons you said. I think it's and so yeah. I nominated someone who I work with, someone who I Good. directly, you know, so I can continue to sort of support them. Yeah, but that's, They're new. That, They've been in the agency the, just about a year. Yeah. Yeah. So there's continuity. There's continuity, but yeah. there's also, yeah, new perspective, fresh yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. Um, secession planning. It's a, there's growth for me, the agency, yeah. the, yeah. you know, so no, yeah, all those things. I, yeah, I definitely agree. This is something we can talk about more. Um, there's something else. I don't know. I love you, Dad. I love you, son. Listen, I would say enjoy your protest, but do it for no, me. I do. Too, okay? I mean, yeah, no, no, no. And then the yeah. pride thing is, is, is just a music event in the park. So that's just, well, that, that is fun. a celebration. So, okay. I mean, I guess that's where my, my where my, am I going to a protest or am I going to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll let you know. Okay. I love, love you, you, son. Take care. Have Bye. a good week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>